गुड मॉर्निंग डी स्टूडेंट्स टुडे आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू चैप्टर नंबर फर्स्ट दैट इज द कैटेगरीज ऑफ कंप्यूटर सो फर्स्टली वी हैव द इंट्रोडक्शन अबाउट दिस एज यू ऑल नो वी यूज कंप्यूटर फॉर डिफरेंट पर्पसेस एंड फॉर एवरी पर्पस और फॉर एवरी यूजेज वी हैव ए डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ कंप्यूटर अवेलेबल इन द मार्केट सपोज यू वॉन्ट टू यूज द कंप्यूटर फॉर होम यूज then you have to buy a different type of computer which is compatible for you if you are having in need of a computer for your business then you might be having a different type of a computer so for different activities we have different types of computer so all these are called categories of a computer so as you can see here firstly uh, today is the age of computers and uh, we use computer in our daily life and everywhere whether it's home school or work we use it everywhere and for our daily activities we depend on the use of a computer so with the help of computer you can manage your bank account you can transfer funds you can buy or sell the things and at a grocery store computer tracks the purchases and calculates the amount of money you owe so all these things are done by the computer other organizations like schools college and the home users they also use computer for educational purposes and the students they use computer for making their assignments for doing the research on computer in the computer labs then computers are all used for uh, entertainment for listening music watching videos playing games like this for reading some book or magazine okay for editing photographs for planning a vacation etc many people they also use computer for communication for video call okay for simple call etc so as we have seen the computers are used by every person in every sphere of life so that's why it is very essential that we must be a computer literate so computer literate means that you have the knowledge of computer and uh, you have the understanding of the computers and you have the knowledge of their uses also how you can use the computer and where the computers are used so here in this diagram you can see the different people they are using the computer for different type of uh, uh, work so these are different categories of a uh, computer next we have categories of computer so as you know computer is electronic device and it works very fast and uh, all the computers they are in different size shapes and weight and according to this they also do different jobs differently so according to the size shapes and working we can categorize the computers in following ways first computer which is the most powerful computer that is called super computer so here is the description of super computer super computer it is the big computer so the size of this computer is very large and this computer is the most expensive computer also and the speed of this computer is very fast so it can perform the large and complex calculations at very high speed then what about the size it is the biggest one so the size of super computer can be size of a room then location location means where it is used so such computers they are used in big organizations or big companies or in the government departments next we have the speed so the speed of this computer or the super computer is they can process 1 trillion instruction in a second so this is the speed 1 trillion then uses so super computers are used for weather forecasting then for nuclear power stations for military simulation for research laboratories and for creating animation movies so this is the diagram so this is the super computer 
which can process a trillion instruction per second then next category we have the mainframe computers so the mainframe computer are also large and powerful computers but they are not as powerful as a supercomputer then mainframe computers are also expensive computers so the mainframe computers actually they have the capacity to host multiple operating system so the first mainframe mainframe computers it was developed by the IBM that is the international business machine so this is the name of organization name of company then what is the size so the size of uh, mainframe computer is the size of a closet like Alamira it is the size of an Alamira then location it is also used in the big business houses or government departments then the speed the speed of mainframe computer is millions of instruction per second not trillion trillion was in supercomputer now the speed of mainframe is millions of instruction per second then it uses so this computer is used for scientific research and for work mathematical operation next we have the mini computer so mini computer is also called a workstation okay so this computer is a multi-purpose computer that has lesser memory and storage than mainframe so a number of terminal can be connected to it in a network so different terminals or different computers you can connect with it with the help of a network the size of mini computer is the size that can be fitted within a cabinet and uh, the size of uh, this computer can be of a size of a refrigerator then location mini computers they are used in universities polytechnics and industries then speed the speed is it can do the same work as supercomputer or mainframe computer would do but at a lower speed so the type of work as the supercomputer do or as the mainframe computer do the type of work can be same but same task will be done at a lower speed so the speed of a mini computer is less than the supercomputer and mainframe computer so these computers are used also used in big organizations like banks they use mini computers after this we have the servers so server is the lifeblood of any network so with the help of a network other computers they can connected with the server and all the information will be provided by the server to other computers so if server is off then no computer can work or no computer can connect to the server for information it control access to the hardware software and other resources on the network and provide a centralized storage area for programs data and information so all the network components they are controlled by server so server has the responsibility to manage all the network resources and all the data it will be uploaded on the server it will be saved on the server then the size of server are big and some are small so it depend on the usage some servers may be big and some may be small location it is also used in offices banks and schools speed the speed of server is increasing day by day so because uh, it depend on the usage if uh, you need more powerful servers then more speed can be added by including more server or more cpus then we have the usage so server sports from two to several thousand connected computers at the same time so the main uses is servers are used to handle a network so wherever you are using 
something with the help of a network in that case you need a server then we have the microcomputer so microcomputers they are also called PC so the personal computers which we use in home or school or laptops they are called microcomputers they are in small size so they have a microprocessor chip that is called the brain or the CPU of computer and even they have the peripherals peripherals are the input output devices peripheral means input output devices which are connected with the computer like keyboard mouse monitor then the size of this computer is very small so one person can easily handle it or you can place it on the desk or in your lap location these computers are used in offices homes and schools speed the speed of uh, microprocessor is also increasing day by day so whenever a new processor is launched in the market so it is having the more speed than previous one uses so this is used for creating documents doing calculation keeping record and doing other editing work so desktop computer and notebook computers means laptops they are micro computer next we have the desktop computer desktop computer is especially for the home users and uh, desktop computer can be used on the desk so you can keep all the components of a desktop computer on a desk that's why it is called desktop computer so it is used in schools home and offices so desktop computer is designed in such a way that a system unit input devices output devices and all other devices fit entirely on a desk or a table you can keep everything all the components on table that is called a desktop and here we used one term that is called a terminal okay number of terminal can be connected to a network so what is the terminal the terminal is an end user device so final user who is using a device to connect to a network that is called a terminal with a little or no software of its own that relies on computer for its work so suppose one computer is connected with the server and all the processing is done by the server and the result is given to that computer so the computer which is depending on the server that is called a terminal computer and the terminal computer may be having its own CPU for doing the calculation or it may not be having that so it means all the processing will be done by the server and the terminal is just showing you that processing so that is called a terminal computer next type of computer we have the notebook computer like laptops we have and it is very small and lightweight you can keep it in your lap and it is very portable so you can carry it from one location to another location so this laptop computer has a built-in keyboard touchpad is there in place of mouse web camera is also there display is there and all other components like ram hard disk and CPU and motherboard they all are under this keyboard so it is called notebook computer or laptop, uh, laptop computer next we have the mobile devices so mobile device is used to store data permanently or memory inside it so it is a small device it may be having memory cards for storing the data and the mobile devices they are used in our daily life for different purposes the size of the mobile device as you know it can be fitted or you can carry it in your pocket so location it is found everywhere so all the person they use for the personal usage for calling someone for internet for entertainment we use mobile devices then speed so the speed of uh, this device because the device is becoming popular day by day and smart so that's why the speed of mobile devices is also increasing day by day usage so it can be connected to the personal computer for exchanging information so even you can connect the mobile phone with the help of bluetooth or wi-fi or data cable with the computer 
for transferring data from computer to mobile or from mobile to computer. Then we have the tablet, PC, smartphone, ebook reader, smart watches, digital cameras and game consoles. They are also type of electronic devices which are used uh, with the computer technology. After this we have the tablet PC. So this tablet PC is called so it is a handheld device and you can control or you can give the commands with the help of a touch screen or you may have a digital pen and that pen is called stylus S -T -Y -L -U -S. so you can also use the stylus to give the commands then smartphone is there so this is the internet enabled phone so you can send the email messages or many other functions like media player it has digital camera it has storage it has you can capture some pictures with it and you can do different multi-purpose tasks with your smartphone then you have the ebook reader so this is a special book type or reader only you can download the pdf books or ebooks and you can read the book with the help of this ebook reader so it also has a touch screen then we have the smartwatch so smartwatch is a mobile watch so you can connect the smartwatch with the, uh, with your mobile phone and uh, it will show you all the notifications of the mobiles like email notification calls and other social network notifications then we have the digital camera so digital camera is also known as digicam and this camera allows you to take digital pictures and which can be stored in memory card which is inserted in the mobile phone in the traditional cameras they use a film to store the images but nowadays digital camera it, it uh, use memory card in place of a film to store the pictures and after clicking the pictures you can transfer the pictures from digital camera into your computer next we have the game console so this is the special device called game console for playing video games so all the controllers are present on this game console and this game console can be connected with a screen like television screen and uh, it has hard disk also optical disk also and memory card for storage also so popular game consoles are from microsoft it has the xbox 360 then nintendo v sony playstation is there all these are games consoles for playing video games or graphic games then we have the embedded computers so here we have the description embedded computer is a special computer that function as component in a large product so some products in those products a computer is already fixed inside them for controlling that product it is called embedded computer so suppose we have a large device and that device is fully computerized like ATM so in ATM they also use a computer and that computer actually controls all the operations of ATM so that is called embedded computer so the size of computer depend on the size of product then location Embedded computers can be used anywhere like home, in car and even in workplace. Then uses we have. It is used for different functions, for different requirements. For example, embedded computer in printer check the amount of paper in tray, check the ink and toner level, signal of paper jam has occurred and so on. So this is the example which is given for a smart uh, smart printer so inside printer there may be a small computer fixed 
and that computer is actually checking the whole operations of a printer like ink level number of papers in the tray toner settings etc then following is a, a list which is showing everyday products and they all contain embedded computing like personal electronic devices mobile phone digital phone digital television cameras video recorder dvd player answering machine all these are they use embedded computers next we have the home automation devices that is the thermostats sprinkling system security system which is making your home secure vacuum system is there appliances lights washing machine etc they also use embedded computer automobiles they also use embedded computer anti lock brakes engine control module is there stability control airbag control cruise control is there navigation system that is called gps it is also used in cars and bikes computer devices and office machines even keyboard printer fax copy machines these embedded computers are used so that's all in this chapter so see this video carefully listen everything carefully to understand this chapter thank you once again